Hi guys, today I thought we would do a grocery haul. You know, having such a large family, grocery shopping is one of those things that can be really time consuming and is not super easy, especially when you're trying to find things that everybody in the house likes and you have to get things like snacks for school, snacks for home, and breakfast, lunch, dinner, and everything else that falls in between. So stay tuned and I will show you how we do our grocery shopping. Today we're going to talk about how grocery shopping looks for our family. We have 10 kids, two adults, so we have a family of 12. Miko has decided that he wants to join us talking about our grocery shopping today. So he is my right hand man today. So let me tell you guys, here is how I used to do grocery shopping. I used to get in my car, go to the store pick out all my items. I'd be there for a couple hours. I'd have to load everything up. I'd come home another, you know, half hour, hour. Then I would have to unload all the groceries, put them all away. And I would have to do that like every week or week and a half. Guys, that is no fun at all. So I make this really simple. What I do is I get behind my computer at the table and I order groceries there. I have them delivered to us and it makes it so much easier. And then I'd still have to unpack and put them away, but I don't spend hours at the grocery store. This has been a life changer for me doing the grocery shopping. Let me show you what we use. So we actually shop at two different stores. Uh, the first store that we'll talk about is Walmart. I get on my computer, I get online, and I order things at Walmart that are usually non-grocery items. I occasionally order some things at Walmart that um, I like getting name brand of. So for instance, they have uh, ranch packets there. I don't like the ones from the other store that we shop at, so I buy them at Walmart. Um, that is technically a food item. But uh, since I don't like them at the other store, I get those at Walmart. So there are a few things that I still get at Walmart, um, but normally most of our Walmart shopping is non-food items. So I hop on their website. I have an account that has all of the items that I can favorite. And then I go into my favorite items and I scroll through my list and I just pick off the items that I need for that week. So I usually keep a, a list on our Alexa. So I just tell her when we need something. Um, occasionally a kid will tell her when we're out of something and it makes it a really easy place to keep all of our items. So I'll just go to my phone where I have my Alexa app and I go through my Alexa app and I will order those items um, from Walmart that are on my Walmart list. And so the items are not always the same from week to week. It just happens to be what we are out of. But let me show you what it looked like for us this week. So we got some ranch packets, sun chips, English muffins. A lot of times I'll make egg McMuffins on the weekends, uh, like sausage egg McMuffins. Toilet paper. Uh, Hormel completes, which are microwave meals, just sometimes um, when I'm in a rush and I need something for lunch, those are just easy to pop in the microwave. They only take 60 seconds, so real easy on the go. We've got our Lawry's cheese, dog food, because Miko is 
12, he cannot eat the regular dog food anymore. He has like no teeth. <laughs> so we buy him the uh, ground dinners. We got some ham. A lot of times I get that from Aldi, but this time I got it from Walmart. Christian's baby food that he's eating now. We got some chili cheese Fritos. Uh, these and those uh, French onion sun chips. Mm, those are some of our favorites. We've got hot and spicy ramen. Same thing with this. The kids love the hot and spicy ramen. And so I get this just for an easy uh, lunch to make on the weekends for them. Easy for them to just fill it with some hot water and then uh, it's ready for them. We do Pop-Tart Fridays. And so on Fridays, I'll let the kids have Pop-Tarts. It's just a little treat for them for, uh, before the weekend starts. And they love to have the Pop-Tarts. I don't really like giving them to them on a regular basis because there's so much sugar. But I do let them have a little treat on Fridays. The kids also can take snacks to school. Uh, they'll have a little snack break before lunch or after lunch, depending on what time they eat. And so I got these cheese crackers, which they don't have these at Aldi. So that's why I get them at Walmart. And then when you're raising 10 kids in your home, you definitely need some energy drinks. So we always make sure to have some of those on hand. Uh, pretty helpful when you wake up in the morning and you are exhausted. Then we have Walmart pizzas, which these are really, really good pizzas. A lot of times we were making DiGiorno and they're so small um, that we would have to buy so many of them. So we buy the Walmart pizzas and they taste um, similar to DiGiorno, but I feel like they're just a little bit better. So we get those to make, usually we do pizza on Fridays. We also have, these are our, a lot of our non-food items. So I've got my deodorant conditioner. Uh, this is the kids conditioner. We've got the kids toothpaste, pull-ups for Charlie, diapers for Christian. I bought a small pack of them. I think he's getting ready to go up to the next size. And so I didn't want to buy a big, huge box just in case he grows out of them pretty quick. Tape. I don't know about you guys, but my kids use tape like it's candy. I do, they're always needing tape to tape something on their door or for a project that they're doing. And we seem to run out really fast. Uh, my face wash, we've got um, toothpaste there for Sean and I and some diaper cream for Christian. We also use distilled water in Christian's bottles. Um, I will do a video on that um, uh, at another time, but there's the distilled water for his bottles. I got some hand soap. We have three bathrooms um, and a kitchen sink, so I got one for each area. We've got razors, makeup wipes, uh, disposable razor blades, loofahs. It's time to switch out our loofahs, so I usually buy a couple at a time for the kids um, to switch theirs out. And then, of course, during the fall and winter season, you need Kleenexes. So that is... So that is all of the groceries I got this week at Walmart. I will usually place our Walmart order on Thursdays. That way we can pick it up on Friday morning after we get all the kids off to school and daycare. And then we swing by Walmart and grab our order. That is how I do my Walmart order. The second store that we shop at is Aldi. And I love Aldi. Again, this is not sponsored by any store, any products, but I would say 20 years ago, I shopped through an Aldi and it is a different kind of shopping experience. And I wasn't sure what to think about it, but about 15 years ago, Sean and I started shopping there and 
once I got used to how they had the store arranged, I found out that I really, really liked shopping there. Most of their items are like an off brand, but they taste so similar to the name brand items that most things I can't even tell a difference. And so we did, uh, we started doing our shopping at Aldi. Now, Aldi's prices are phenomenal. So I can shop for a large family and I spend half the amount at Aldi that I would spend at Walmart. And I always thought Walmart was one of the uh, cheapest places to shop, but Aldi is definitely one of the cheapest places with still really good products. And so I also shop online at Aldi. On Fridays, I will hop behind my computer. I will add items to our cart. So what I do is I'll go to the Instacart website. I click on Aldi because that is who Aldi does their online shopping through. I click on Aldi, I go to, to the list of my items and I click on view more. So it will give me a list that I can scroll through sideways. But if I click on view more, I get my entire list that I can just scroll down and I can just pick an item, click on the plus sign and add it to my cart. It makes shopping so easy. Also, my account is already set up, so they have my address and all of my information saved. So that way it's really simple. Once I add everything to my cart, I just can hit check out and it has all of my information already in there saved and I hit place to order. And within five hours, my groceries are here. Now with Aldi, you can pick different options and it's the same at Walmart as well, but I can pick two hours, five hours, or I can pick to have it delivered between certain times. We just ordered on Friday. Let me show you what that order looked like. Okay guys, so here are the items that I got from Aldi. This is one week's worth of groceries. So we got the energy drinks and Gatorades and peanuts, more energy drinks. Sean and I like different kinds. All the boxes of cereal, some snacks up here, popcorn. Of course, got to have baby wipes. Here's snacks for the kids. They like saltine crackers. We've got bananas, animal crackers, club crackers. Here's some of our canned items. We don't get a lot of canned items, but I do like to have some things just in case we're in a rush and need to have a quick lunch or a quick dinner. We've got some mac and cheese. The kids love mac and cheese. We've got some stuff for Mexican, some bacon bits for our salads. Uh, chips, we like to make nachos a lot or we'll have, uh, we'll grill out and have hamburgers and chips like the wavy lays. We do a lot of, um, here's the English muffins for I make uh, sausage egg McMuffins, some bagels, lots of yogurt. The kids like to have yogurt. It's a little bit of a change from having cereal all the time. And then your main items like the chicken and the hamburger and the pork tenderloin. Here's some other fast things like some hot dogs. And we have quite a bit of sausage, so I only bought a couple. The taquitos for a quick dinner if we needed to have one. Gotta have some ice cream in there. We do those as treats for the kids when they do all of their stuff on their treat list. Gotta have fruit, of course, sour cream, French onion cheese. Uh, here's some other fast dinner night meals for the nights that we need something quick or sometimes they just don't feel like cooking and so we'll do that. We have some paper products just in case um, I didn't have a chance to do dishes. your cheese, eggs, and just some of your regular items, some ice cream. And then down here are the um, fruits and veggies. There's oranges, pineapple, potatoes, lettuce, cucumbers, and carrots. Guys, this is our one week grocery haul from Aldi, which I 
Guys, I love Aldi. Uh, it's not sponsored, but they have such great prices and their products are so similar. Uh, it would be like buying the great value brand or the store brand of an item that uh, is maybe name brand, but then they have the store brand. Those are what all these products are like. They are like an off brand, but I most of them taste just as good as the name brand. And once you kind of shop there and you figure out what you like, uh, then it makes it really easy to do that. And we, our kids love the Aldi brand. It's funny because they, we buy some of the store brand, um, sorry, not store brand, but sometimes we'll buy the um, name brand stuff and they, they think that that tastes funny because they are so used to having the Aldi brand. Again, this works the same way that it does with my Walmart order. I don't always need everything that week. Sometimes I still have sometimes I still have the product in my cupboard and I don't need to order it. So I go through my Alexa list on my phone. I see what is on my Aldi list that needs to be ordered. And then also as I scroll through the My Items list, uh, it will jog my memory so that way I can just add the items that I know I'm going to need for whatever dinners it is I'm going to prepare for the following week. Grocery shopping really has become a lot simpler for me ever since they started the online ordering and pick up and delivery. Now with our Walmart order, we pick up. With our Aldi order, we actually have it delivered to our home just because there is so much. Uh, and it does make it a lot easier for them to just show up at our door with the order. Now again, I still have to put everything away. And keep in mind, these orders that I've showed you are just for one week's worth of groceries. But I do this each week and it makes it so much simpler to do it that way because that also goes along with how I do my food planning, my meal planning for the family. If you guys have any questions about our grocery haul or how we do our grocery shopping that I didn't think of or answer in this video, comment down below and I will do another video on our shopping and perhaps maybe even a meal planning video. Thanks for watching our grocery haul video, guys. If you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more vlog videos or videos like these talking about our large family. If you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up and hit that notification bell to get notified of all of our videos that come out. Thanks guys, we'll see you next time. Bye.